Well, good morning all. This is Peter here from uh, Manningham Men's Shed uh, with my colleague Guy here. We're going to demonstrate to you how to put together a condiments caddy, which you will note there as a finished article. Quite a simple device to make. We start off with just the raw essentials. Ordinary old bit of pine, which <coughs> we've measured as 302 mil that way by 142 mil that way by what's that? 10 mil? Uh, 19 mil. Let's 19 mil thick. We have these three little strips here, which go to make up the two seats on either side, plus the support down the middle there for the sauce bottles. Uh, these seat pieces actually are the same length as those too, by the way. Uh, the, the legs are made up of these four pieces here. Each of these pieces of wood is 140 mil long by 25 mil deep by 15 mil with a 20 degree angle cut on top and bottom. The idea of that is that they will sit together like that. Level there and level there. These two shorter pieces, one goes to the top there like so to support that there. The longer piece goes down the bottom like that. So we end up with an A-frame leg. With the getting of these angles correct, we made up a little jig just to help ourselves out. Legs fit nicely into that. That piece fits up on there. That piece fits on there. Little dob of woodwork and glue underneath. A couple of little brads to hold those in place. And you end up with that. Obviously you do that twice. Legs at both ends. Righto, step one, we're going to cut, we've already cut one, but we're going to cut the second hole in our top with the hole saw, uh, which we've got set up over here. I've marked where I want to cut my holes. Um, these are going to be obviously midline in that direction, but they're actually 65 mil in from the edge on each side. So I've marked 65 mil from there, and that, that's, that's dead centre. All right, so we're going to now just gently You'll notice I haven't gone all the way through with that first cut. You get a cleaner cut if you only cut part way through and then cut the rest of it out from the opposite side. Here we go. One whole cut. So just a bit of sanding on those inside edges there. Our next hole is not going to be a complete through and through hole. So instead of using the hole saw, we're using a 38 millimeter spade bit. But we're also going to use the drill press for that for ease of operation. Okay. I've marked where these holes are to go as well. Again, they'll be central that way, not that way. They'll be central that way. And the, the centres of those are 32 mil in from the edge of the, uh, of the top, of the uh, side of thing. But we don't want to go all the way through this time. Using a drill press like this makes life easy, but it's all very manageable with a hand drill. There's no problem about that at all. No problem whatsoever. Here we go. They don't need to be very deep. They're just, they're just deep enough to sit your salt and pepper shakers in. Hole drilling in the top is the small hole in the center for the, for the dowel. You can do this by hand. This is a 
12 mil drill bit straight through the centre. We've got our top all drilled. The next stage of the game is to get these legs put together. That's what we made up earlier, but we'll demonstrate using our little jig that we made up earlier to put all this together. Your legs in there. That goes there and that goes there. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a dob of glue, just a tad, doesn't need a huge amount. I'll do the top ones first. Now if I'd put two nails up in the top there to start with, I wouldn't have any, any movement here. So I want to keep those like so. We've just got to make sure that we put this in the right position in that, in that direction. So I'm just going to measure. It's about 33. It's not far out. I reckon that's pretty good. Top of the old woodwork and glue again. Now that I've got all those in, I'm going to put a second grab in each joint. Now, I'm just going to punch those in a little bit. One might say, how the heck are we going to get in there to attach that into here? Because we want to go through in this direction, not in the other direction, so that we don't have screws and things showing through the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of holes, drill a couple of holes through here, just on a slight angle, so that when the time comes, I can run a, a screw down through there with my long handle screwdriver, like so. So I'm going to drill these at a slight angle, not too much. We'll do that with the second pair. So we've got to centre that up, make sure that's centred. In fact, I'll tell you what might be a good idea is to just run a rule gently across there. 140 across there, half of that's 70. Let's put a little mark in there. All right, so I've marked that centre there and we can put that so that, that is smack in the middle. What I'm going to do before you attach these legs to the top is to just to drill a small guide hole in the centre of that for the purpose of putting a screw down through there into that to hold it onto the bottom strut. So we're going to pick the centre of that, which is 100. Oops. And it doesn't matter if it's going to go in on a bit of an angle. And the screws I'm going to use for those are these cute little button head needle point screws. 8 gauge by 13 mil. They don't have to be very long, they're only going through that into this. Double glue. We're getting there. We're getting there. Not too much further to go. Now, you can see now why I drilled those holes in that centre strut. So what I'm actually going to do next is to drill a couple of holes through these. Pre-drilled that one. I'll just use this one as a guide. So you can see now why I drill these holes on an angle because I can't get my screwdriver in straight up and down.
the last step of this whole procedure is our little dowel down the centre, which is to be used as a handle, I guess. Um, we'll put a dab of glue in there, and maybe a dab of glue on the bottom there. We're not going to bother screwing or, or nailing this. Um, this just uses a handle. Two options for the top. We've made these gizmos. If you don't want a great big heavy thing on top like that, just a smaller disc. <coughs> paint it up, paint it a flower on it or something. You don't even have to have that. You could take that off and just put a, a, a cross piece in or something, just as a handle. That's optional extras. Okay, now that we've got the whole thing finished and all put together, we're going to finish it off with a coat of paint, varnish, whatever you desire. We've got uh, brush on Instapol, we've got spray on Instapol, we've got spray on colour. That's up to the individual as to what they want to do with it to finish it off. Um, probably the best thing is the, uh, is the Instapol, it's a good protective surface on the, on the timber. But as I say, totally up to the individual. Okay, so there you go guys, uh, the job is done. Simple enough job, simple uh, components, anyone can do it. Uh, give it a go, it might start you off onto something bigger and better. So it's uh, from the Manningham Men's Shed, Peter saying cheerio, and the same from Guy.